So this is a first. We just lowered the Volkswagen bus into the tank and it is barely submerged. This is about our max. I'm gonna top it off with like a half inch more water because we don't have a lot of room, but it is submerged. So I just finished the first pressure washing of the VW bus and this thing was an absolute blast of pressure wash. Let's have a closer look at this thing and see what we're working with. This thing's in pretty decent shape. Up front here, there was a lot of Bondo. As you can see, it stayed on there. It's gonna have to go in for another dip. But this metal is pretty solid. All the interior paint came off. There was a big patch of Bondo here. I'm probably, let's see if we can. Uh, it looks like there's some fiberglass under there too. Yeah. But all this interior paint came off. The floor's in great condition. It is completely solid. Come around to the side. This is where that wicked dent was. Still got a little bit of paint there. There's a, some thin Bondo around the side and on the other side we'll head over to the passenger side as you can see on the passenger side near the wheel well there's a little bit of bondo this whole side must have been repainted because this paint didn't come off and there's like a skim coating of bondo and it looks like a different type of primer but 
I'm probably gonna sand on this a little bit and it'll go back in the tank and we'll take care of that. But this thing is pretty freaking sweet. We're gonna get it into the alkaline bath one more time to get the rest of this paint off and then we're gonna go after all that rust. <laughs> The 1969 Volkswagen Type 2 bus is finally finished. I got this thing down to bare metal and it definitely took some work. This is definitely the biggest car we've ever done. I made sure to top off the tank a little bit before we lowered it in because I knew the top would be sticking out and it basically maxed out our tank for height wise. This thing took a total of two dips in our alkaline tank to remove all the paint and I believe about three or four dips in the acid to remove all the rust. There was a decent amount of rust, but for, from what I've seen on these things online, this one's in fantastic shape. The paint wasn't too much of a problem. There was a decent amount of Bondo on it, and that's what the second dip was for, mostly to remove most of that Bondo. And there was some of the red paint on top of the Bondo that was a little stubborn. We're gonna have a closer look at this thing and see what we're working with. So up here on the front end, it's a little bit wrinkled up. You can see there's a whole bunch of holes drilled and they pulled a whole bunch of dents and then layered some Bondo over it. This is where a lot of the paint didn't come off because the Bondo was pretty thick underneath it. Right here, you can see there's some brazing around here and there was a lot of pitting around where the weather stripping was for the windshield. Come around to the driver's side. 
You could see it rotted through here a little bit and there was some fiberglass and resin, if you remember in the video, covering all this up. The floor's in pretty decent shape. The seats are in great condition. There's not a lot of rust on them at all. I'm wondering if this floor was replaced before because you can see there was some work done. There's some stacked welds there and some brazing. Let's have a look at the side here where that significant dent is. They're definitely gonna have some work to do pulling that thing out. Around back here, everything is completely solid. This thing's in fantastic shape. Around where the spare tire is, you can see we got some rot there, nothing crazy, some more brazing. Have a look under here. On the other side of that dent, All solid. We got some rot through there. We'll have a look at the passenger side. Everywhere there were, where there was some work done and it wasn't original paint, that's where it was stubborn. There was a lot of Bondo right here. Took the second dip to take care of that. And basically this whole side panel was still covered in paint after the first dip. Come along here, the rockers. You can see some rot coming through there. Nothing crazy though. We'll have a look at this floor. There's a lot of pitting and holes in the floor. A lot of the rot is in this corner right here. And you can see some more rot. But like I said before, from what I've seen online, this one is in fantastic shape compared to other VW buses. Have a look at the passenger side seats. I really enjoyed dipping this car. This actually is probably my favorite car we've dipped. It's just so unique to anything we've done before. And there's like a whole community around these VW buses. Now it was definitely one of the most time consuming cars we've dipped because there was just so much to it. It's so big and there's so many passages and everything that I had to hit, but it was definitely worth it. This thing looks amazing and it was super fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's plenty more to come, and I really appreciate you guys getting me past 100,000 subscribers. I got my silver plaque in the mail the other day. Absolutely awesome, and I'm grateful for every single one of you. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen, but I definitely didn't think it was gonna happen as quick as it did. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you at the next car.